All right, good morning. So I'm headed to get my facial today and I got the, um, in the clear is what the facial is called, um, but it is just a acne extracting and cleansing facial. Okay, so I'm here at the facial um, and I have an appointment at 10. Um, I'm gonna be filming the whole experience just from beginning to end and see how my skin looks afterward. I don't know. <laughs> um, I feel like it's nice to see the different price ranges of facials and see the results of them. So um, yeah, it's really nice in here. It's really cute. I'll show you guys around a little bit. Um, you guys can see they have like this blush pink aesthetic, which I'm definitely here for. I really love is clinical or is clinical. Um, I, I have this. This is great too. So I'm really excited. I love the miracle patches. These are really great as well. And that's what the inside looks like. Okay, so here is the room in which we conducted the facial. It was really calming. I loved just the vibe in there. And then she brought me onto the bed that we were having the spa. Um, they had pillows to support my legs and a cozy little blanket. Everything was just really cozy and um, the esthetician was super, super friendly. So with the first step, we obviously had the steamer going just to really loosen the pores and help them to um, just get loose, ready for extraction. Also helped with cleansing. Um, and that was the first kind of step that we went into. Not only do we assess the face, but um, there was a little bit of a face massage in the middle of it. And um, the esthetician kind of, at least for me and my experience, she went above and beyond and helped me to um, just understand like what else my skin could be going through. I've been to dermatologists, I've um, tried a lot of different treatments, but one of the things that she had mentioned was it's probably, it could be gluten or dairy. And I have since cut out a lot of gluten and dairy, and I did notice um, a difference in my skin. Now, obviously the cure to acne is different for every single person, but for me particularly, after she had mentioned that she did Whole30 diet, that's how she got rid of her cystic acne, um, I was really inspired to just try it. It's not like it was hurting me at all. I was obviously eating a lot better by just, um, eating a diet that was a little bit cleaner without dairy and gluten as well and that has helped a lot i've also been drinking tons and tons of water but um now we're just going through the process of you know cleansing then acid and then um extraction this is a really common thing that i've done with a lot of the facials that i've done um there's like an acid moment and then they go into extraction just to help the kind of kill a lot of the sebum or bacteria again i'm not an esthetician i don't claim to be so i don't really know exactly all the terms and what's happening but um just from going to facials a lot i noticed that it's kind of the same process um but anyways I think that doing um, hyaluronic acid was something that she also recommended that, you know, sometimes when you have really clogged pores, rather than even going as far as moisturizer, just doing a little bit of hyaluronic acid all over the face. So as I was editing this, I was just hit with a lot of sadness and um, just frustration because I look at my skin and you guys know if you look back at my pre-quarantine skin my skin was really really good and um i just want to take a moment and empathize with anyone else who feels this way it can be so devastating to um just look at yourself in the mirror and want to cry and my skin is something that i didn't really think would ruin my confidence or um i didn't realize how much how much i took advantage of my good skin and how it made me feel so confident about myself but now having such cystic painful acne it really does suck it sucks to put makeup on and it really just 
puts a wet blanket on your confidence and so you know i just want to reach out to anybody who's out there like if you're feeling really devastated by your skin like so am i and it can really be painful and so sad and if you're just wanting to cry all the time like girl i feel you i'm here for you and i just want to put that sentiment in here I've been consistently using hyaluronic acid as well since I gotten this facial done and you'll see three day after results at the end of this video, but it was actually, it's been really, really helpful. Um, it's now been about one or two weeks since I've gotten this facial and my skin looks a lot better. The light therapy um, is a really popular thing to do for those with um, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, um, LED light therapy is something that I've seen tons of people do. I've gotten it done at different facials before. I've gotten it done here with a like this stem kind of thing. And um, this didn't hurt. It just feels um, like a little bit of a vibration on the skin. However, um, she did it right around the kind of darkest parts of my uh, scarring and I noticed that a lot of you know as you can see it's right in the same spot on either side of my cheek or my chin and I noticed after doing this a lot of the scarring went down um, she's now just putting some kind of I don't want to say a toner but it felt like an essence she asked me if it stings it shouldn't sting and it didn't it felt really really good after doing that light therapy and although this video seems really fast and everything's kind of quickly moving along um, this whole facial lasted about an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour, um, cause I had to go pick up my camera and stop and go get my camera and bring it back and all that kind of stuff. But, um, for the most part, it was so relaxing and I definitely feel like it is an expensive treatment. Um, it was $170 for this whole treatment and, to be honest, I don't see myself getting this done on a regular, regular basis. Like whether that's, you know, every few weeks, I don't, I don't expect that. Um, but I do see myself maybe getting this when I really, really want to treat myself. Maybe a few times a year is how often I'd see myself getting this done. Um, to complete the facial, she just finished off with sunscreen. Uh, it was just to protect the skin before I left. She also gave me a clean new mask to put on. Okay, so I just finished my facial. Um, this is what it's looking like right now. Really glowy, super hydrated. Um, but I will give you guys a check-in tomorrow to see what it looks like. But for now, I'm really happy with the immediate results. Um, I just wanted to get a lot of the congestion out of my skin as I have a lot of like congested pores and zits and stuff, but um, yeah, I really like it. Okay, so I just finished, I just finished booking my next appointment in six weeks. Um, this is the place and I don't think I got to show you guys, but it's really cute. It's just in the corner area of this place in Pasadena um, but yeah it was really nice I really enjoyed it I have full protection on sunscreen and everything so I'm now gonna head home maybe grab some lunch and head home but thank you so much for watching this video I'm gonna also put in my update after tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like the next day okay so here is the last checkup I'm gonna do for this video um it's been I think Wait, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's been three days since um, I've gotten my extraction done and my skin is looking so much better. Um, it's just a lot less textured, I guess, is like the best way to put it. My nose is kind of peeling, but um, for the most part, I know it looks like I still have scars and scars are something that I am totally okay with. I'd rather have scars and not have any acne because acne is the stuff that really hurts and scars i could just you know do peels and this and that over time those scars will fade and that's totally fine but um yeah i just wanted to show you guys up close i have this like really big pimple under here on my chin that one really really hurts and then um just like one up here but for the most part if you look to the side like my skin here that i just have like some flaky skin what is that oh yeah it's like a flake 
So I have like some flaky skin, but it's pretty smooth when you look to the side. Um, I've been trying also to wear less makeup. So I, I don't, I normally don't wear makeup, but what I mean by wearing less makeup is even when I do wear makeup, I haven't, I haven't been trying to wear my eyelashes and like not a full face and stuff because it's just so much to remove afterwards. So I've actually just been doing some concealer and a little bit of tinted moisturizer. Um, and that's actually been fine for me. Like I can still see my scars through it, my acne through it, and it actually doesn't look that bad. Um, so yeah, that's just some skin updates, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog situation. And um, if you're dealing with acne scars or you're dealing with cystic acne, you know, yeah, it sucks. It sucks to put makeup on. It sucks to, you know, it so much texture and it sucks to it because it hurts and you know and it, it is really the worst I totally understand so you know if this video if you take anything away from this video it's just that know that you're not struggling it through by yourself you know I'm someone that had really really good skin I'm someone that had like you know I, and I feel like I almost took it for granted how like you know and and I totally was, I, I think I'm going through this, honestly, I think I'm going through this to really understand what a lot of other women go through. I feel like I could understand you guys because I'm going through the similar skin issues. Um, and I and I know that's a weird way to think about it, but for me, going through this just makes me feel like I'm, I'm going through something with you all too who are watching so it just kind of makes me feel more connected to you guys and helps me to understand um what every what you guys probably are feeling because i'm feeling it too so anyways i'm gonna stop rambling but um i hope you enjoyed this video more videos to come i really want to post monday wednesdays and fridays again um so that's filming schedule might be back up, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys all in my next video.